once human might end up being the game i would play for rest of my life and still not get bored of it that's how good it is i've been gaming for almost as long as i can remember and of all the genres the one i've loved the most are the ones with rpg elements combined with crafting and base building the first game that fit right in for me was fallout 4 since then i've played many games like minecraft satisfactory valheim and many others but not one came close to everything i wanted from a game the way once human did once human which just came out of beta to a full release might just be the game that i've been waiting for so long and maybe you too just a heads up the gaming experience i'm talking about is based on the pve world not the pvp one i've heard many elements of the pvp world are a bit different and it can get competitive but i wanted a game in which i could relax so i opted for the pve world once human is a survival sci-fi so obviously it is set in post apocalyptic world with zombies and weird monsters but the story around it does not feel like just a rehash of a million others the story is well thought out at least for a survival game and plays a good role in ensuring anyone who starts gets to know every aspect of gameplay and story in a very structured manner it is set in a world where humans have been invaded by some sort of a stardust pollution which is infecting people and changing them into something inhuman your role is to heal the land inch by inch as you take back different locations currently controlled by either the infected or the rosetta the game opens with you escaping a lab where you are being experimented on by a post apocalyptic tech giant called rosetta rosetta has been experimenting on stardust and in pursuit of world domination they are leading to its collapse mayfly on the other hand is a rebel group taking a stand against rosetta you are part of that group and you also have powers to control deviants the pokemon like beings whom you can collect and use in battle i'm still in early game exploring the world there may be more such factions but so far the story has been quite interesting let's talk about gameplay one word i can say about the gameplay of once human is that it is extremely chill unlike other games of this genre where survival keeps you on the edge of your seat and the whole world seems to be working towards ensuring that you do not survive once human gives you every opportunity to explore the world around you without fearing death the hunger and thirst management aspects are very forgiving food and water is easy to come by the crafting resources are a plenty and the game has extremely simple to understand ui and you're guided to each element so methodically that you will never feel lost the quests in the early game guide you quite well on every aspect of gameplay like base building crafting and survival no decision you make is permanent and can be easily changed at minor cost you get a vehicle quite early in the game to traverse the huge map which is a big plus you can easily jump in and jump out of the game without stressing out about missing something crucial teaming up with people around you is also very easy essentially if you want to play with other meta humans you can just today morning i had such a session with a stranger who helped me out in defeating a boss all i had to do was drop in a message in the chat and there were people ready to help me out the world is persistent so once you stake claim to a spot for your base nobody else can use that place so be careful when setting a base up although the game is very easy for casuals if you want to go deep into all the gameplay mechanics to build the best meta human you certainly can i see there is enough material here for you to delve as deep as you possibly want into this game as a father to a 2 year old and working from 9 to 5 it is not easy to take time out for gaming 
It is quite possible that my little one would want my attention right in the middle of my gaming session. Once human does not penalize you for stepping away from the game, at least in the PvE world that I am in. I can easily jump in and out as and when I want. The music in the game is extremely calming, so you never feel stressed. Additionally, there is no stress in managing the ammunition and base because all the resources are readily available. In the initial 5 to 6 hours of gameplay, none of the tasks felt like a chore. I am still far from the end game, but so far from what I have played, I believe Once Human is positioned to be the breakthrough survival game of the year. If you check out Once Human's Steam review, you will notice they are mixed. But if you actually read them, you will notice the bad reviews are essentially complaints about their terms and conditions. I had my concern about it too. But when I realized whatever they are clearly stating in black and white is more or less exactly the same as any other free to play game would, I was not as worried anymore. Developers have clarified that such information will only be required in the countries where it is needed by law. And your information is only used to abide by the laws of the country you are playing from. So far, I have not been asked for any of these details. They do give you an option to link your Discord, but you do not have to unless you are really comfortable doing so. For the complete statement from the studio, you can read the written version of this video in the link in the description. Other than some wait time in joining the game and lack of Australian servers, this game's launch has mostly been bug free. I have not faced a single issue since I have started playing. The game has great graphics and stable frame rate. The ping might be an issue in PvP, but not one in PvE. This gives me an impression that the developers know what they are doing. Less time spent fixing bugs means more time adding new features. This is very promising and gives me high hopes for the future of Once Human. Now for a gamer dad like me, Once Human is a perfect, no stress game that I see myself playing for a really long time. Have you played this game yet? What are your impressions of it? Do share them in the comments below. Hope you liked this video. If you did, then please hit the like button. And for more things once human, gaming and pop culture, do subscribe to my channel. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.